You know, there are two schools of thought in the world today. One is that man was created by a higher being. The other is that mankind is the result of billions of years of evolution. But by looking at us, the ultimate creation, you can clearly see that both of these theories have equal merit. And that is why yours truly, the perfect creation, and this man, Jason Ultima, are going to be the next NWA Wildside Tag Team Champions. Because we are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And it is going to be the beginning of the end for all Wildside Tag Teams. Let's go. He's always had a great physique, but he's been hitting the gym. I noticed the lats are looking much bigger than normal. Onyx in fantastic condition. A force to be reckoned with here in Wildside. And their opponent's just been announced. The ultimate creation, of course, that is Jason Altima and the perfect creation. Boy, I'm, I'm glad he didn't have too high an opinion of himself. The perfect creation, my goodness. Modesty is not his strong suit. And Jason Altima and the perfect creation coming out to uh, the famous song by Blue Oyster Cult, Visions of, oh, what's the rest of that tune? I forget the name of that one. I have one. no idea. I'm from the movie Heavy Metal. I saw Altima and I, I almost thought it was Christopher Daniels for a second there with that uh, robe he has on. I know Jason Altima has not been let go from WCW, so maybe that's where you've uh, been. Uh, that's where the mix-up came in. But hey, the final match in the first round, the NWA Elite against the Ultimate Creation. The winners of this match will face the American Males, and the winners of that match, if Scotty Wren can continue next week, they'll face Scotty Wren in the finals. If not, maybe that match will be the finals. You'll have to stay tuned. We'll, we'll have an update next week on where this tournament lies, but right now we're going to find out who advances. Ultimate Creation, we've seen them in the past, very impressive tag team, but oh, NWA Elite gets them from behind at the bell. Can't believe turning your backs to the NWA Elite. Now granted, okay, do double hip tosses, and the NWA go down, ditto, two clotheslines. And the NWA Elite may be rethinking the strategy. Yeah, they thought it would work for him, but oh, double backdrop on Terry Knight. And a high, high one, if I may steal it on the line from the late great Gordon Zoli. You may, by all means. And now double team move by Ultimate Creation. Drop toe hold and a leg drop. And well, I think what the Ultimate Creation might have in their favor here is because Terry Knight and Onyx are not a steady tag team. Yes, they are both affiliated with Jeff G. Bailey. Yes, they are part of the NWA elite, so to speak, but not a steady tag team that could play into this. Good point. Terry Knight has been teaming on, on a fairly regular basis with Eddie Golden in, in recent weeks. Oh, beautiful suplex and bridge by Ultima, but only gets the two. And Onyx has been concentrating on avoiding Laz at all costs. Again, a lot of people should be avoiding Laz at all costs. Um, despite the fact Laz is one of the most popular competitors ever at the wild side here at, at the NCW Arena. Who would have thunk it? But speaking of Laz, next week right here on Wild Side. Boy, that's a power slam. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Next week, Laz takes on AJ Styles. Oh, mercy. The plot thickens. That's going to be, I'm very looking forward to that match. But hey, wrestling fans in Atlanta who watch us each and every week on uh, WATL, you can actually now watch us commercial free. Commercial free? Every Monday night at 11.30 p.m. in Atlanta on Media One Cable Channel 25 or Comcast Channel 20. Wrestling on Monday night? That's a first. Monday nights, 11.30 p.m., 30 minutes of commercial free wild side. Plus, it's also rebroadcast the very next night, Tuesday, at 5 p.m. So whichever's more convenient for your schedule, you can watch wrestling commercial free without even having to pay for it. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Wrestling on Monday night. No one's ever done that. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a renaissance man. I had a vision. I said, I want to put pro wrestling on Monday night. It's something no one else has ever done. And whatever Al wants, Al gets. Thank God for Al gets. Hallelujah! Okay, okay, let's, let's, let's keep things secular here. Ultima not chanting hallelujah right now as he's on the receiving end of a right-hand sandwich from Terry Knight. But still has the wherewithal to pick Onyx up and plant him unceremoniously right in the middle of the ring, and Onyx is a hurting carbon unit. 
Now the tag made to the perfect creation, perfect creation trained by legend Afa the Wild Samoan. Oh boy, Afa's trained quite a number of guys. He's trained literally hundreds of wrestlers who are toiling away across the U.S. of A, destroying victims all over the joint. Perfect creation isn't one of them here. And I'd say the star pupil would probably be um, Billy Kidman. Never heard of him. That actually heals me money, I've heard of him. Perfect creation now on the uh, long end of a low blow, and now double team as referee Jimmy Rivers is distracted by old team, a double face buster by the NWA elite. You know, for a team that has no experience teaming together, they're looking uh, pretty sharp in their tag team work. Well, I should point that out, that's a very good point in my point out there. The, you might also say that the, uh, the Onyx and Terry Knight are all working for the same cause. They have a, came back with a, with, with a game plan. They know each other very well. Even they haven't tagged team enough. Drop kick right to that chin. And they are both singles champions. And as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, no tag team is allowed to hold the world tag team titles and an NWA regional company title. But there are no bylaws prohibiting a singles champion to hold the tag team title. So if the NWA elite wins this tournament, they will be the wild side tag team champions. Well, that'll be a momentous occasion even for the NWA elite. And I just think Onyx is just happy to be involved in a match that doesn't involve Laz. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, he's done whatever it he can do to avoid facing Lance. I've gotten so many faxes and briefs and, and uh, legal stolen. How many from, how many briefs have you gotten stolen? I, I got I got tons of briefs, but damn fax, damn that last faxed over to me by Jeff G. Bale. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Trying to uh, make it clear that under no circumstances will Onyx face Laz in the ring. Well, I'm sure you have ways of changing that, don't you, Al? Oh, I got I got this great Jewish lawyer up in Westchester, New York. You don't want to mess with him. There are Jewish lawyers in Westchester? I have, I've heard enough of too. And now Onyx makes the tag to Terry Knight. And Perfect Creation in big trouble needs to make a tag to Jason Ultima, but he's in the wrong corner to do such a thing. Well, since he is Perfect Creation, hopefully he'll be aware of his position in the ring and know where he has to get, and he needs to get there right away. Again, next week, this tag team tournament will continue, and new Wild Side Tag Team Champions will be crowned. American Male still in it. Both these teams still in it. And if he can continue, Scotty Wren, I'll, I'll talk to him between now and next week. We'll see if, if he can continue in this tournament. I think Jason Altima needs to stay in his corner. The more he protests, the more he tries to interfere, the worse it turns out for his partner. Perfect creation as, as all three members of the NWA elite, and I guess we can qualify Jeff G. Bailey as being one of those, getting involved doing a number on Perfect Creation. He's not only a member, he's also a client, and now taking a Perfect Creation down, Terry Knight, but the NWA uh, gaining the advantage in this match using their favorite tactic and what works best for him, and that's cheating. That's true, and also I might point out to some submission holds in addition to cheating. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, look, we have submission and cheating. It's like it's like a it's like a combination affair. They just use up both moves in their repertoire at the same time: submission hold and cheating. But and now an illegal tag. Oh, there are all kinds of submission moves and cheating they could do, and the evening is young, so to speak. You know, they probably uh, they have so many ways to cheat Jeff G. Bailey. You know, he's he's an evil genius, is what I like to call him. Well, he is a lawyer, so uh, lawyers are known to cheat. Actually, every damn lawyer I've ever met. Been, uh, it's pretty the good Jackie achievement. Childs of Wildside. Wow, what a, what a claim. The Jackie Childs of Wildside. I think that's just the gimmick I've just been looking for, Al. Some more assistance now from Terry Knight, which again draws Ultima into the ring, which distracts referee Jimmy Rivers, which in turn allows the NWA for a double team. Oh, it's a total domino effect. It certainly is, and a domination effect there, too. Bad news for the perfect creation. We need, and now we have Jeff G. Bailey tugging away at Onyx, putting more pressure on the on the left knee of the perfect creation. And Jason Altima has had enough. Well, he, you know, I mean, this is this is ridiculous. It's two on one. At, at the very least, it should be two on two, and be fair. That's what Ultima thinks. And then again, too, if you look, oh, that's an elbow for the ages. But then if you look at it, the most successful tag teams in this in wrestling ever since the dawn of. You know, back in Chick Donovan, back in the 1800s, I mean, they have cheated. They've t taken the rules and bent them to their benefit, and it's been going on forever. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Excellent point made by the cunning linguist, Stephen Prazak, this week on Wild Side. Oh, I'm sorry, am I dribbling? You're a cunning linguist and a master debater. Uh-oh, the secret's out. 
And now Onyx dragging the perfect creation back to enemy territory and making it a legal tag for once to Terry Knight. The United States heavyweight champion Terry Knight defended that title against all comers and still stands strong as champ while Onyx still light heavyweight champion and perhaps both men by next week could be the tag champ as well here you, in Wild. You know how much? Comers and still stands strong as champ while Onyx still light heavyweight champion and perhaps both men by next week could be the tag champ as well here you, in Wild. You know how much I think that Terry Knight along with uh, Wild Side heavyweight champ still not are the two of uh, the fightingest champs we've ever had here in Wild Side. <laughs> Now there's a clothesline, forgive me, for the ages again. For someone whose uh, main skill is on the mat and groundwork, Terry Knight just looked very impressive with that move off the top rope. And actually, well, wonders never cease. I cannot believe that uh, Perfect Creation has managed to kick out of a variety of pin attempts within the last five minutes. Yet, Perfect Creation is not in any position to do any pinning on his own. He needs to tag out right now, and there's the tag. But as you might have noticed, Onyx has Jimmy Rivers' attention diverted. Oh, for Pete's sake, Jimmy Rivers, pay attention. Jimmy Rivers dipping in the suds of bit before bell time apparently missed that one and now onyx once again going to work on perfect creation oh perfect creation reverses it onyx goes for a splash perfect creation ducks no one home come on come, come on come on perf. a few more feet come on two more feet perf and you got it bro perf i'm trying to say syllables for what what do you get coupons well you must know is it like camel Oh, Jason L. Team in the ring with forearms and clotheslines. He's opening up. Whipping Onyx across. Oh, clothesline takes Onyx down. Terry Knight backs him up into the corner. Series of forearms and kicks and fists from Jason Altima as Onyx and Perfect Creation head to the floor. Now in the ring. Oh! Suplex, ultimate creation. But the ref is taking, a care, taking care of a business on the, uh, on, the, on the floor, and Jeff G. Bailey's in the ring. Jeff G. Bailey's no longer in the ring. Yeah, Ultima saw him before he could do anything, and now Ultima chasing Bailey, but that allows Knight to retrieve that belt. Bailey in the ring, here comes Ultima. Oh, once again with that belt. It was almost worth it to see Jeff G. Bailey do that sprint. Oh, for peace sake, the NWA lead advance. Due to the cunning of Jeff G. Bailey and fast running, I might point out, too. Cutting and running. Once again, the NWA elite used that belt to their advantage. They bloodied Scotty, ran earlier. I don't know if Scotty will be able to advance, but the NWA elite does advance, and they will face the American males next week 